To start creating an animated video, you'll need to connect a web camera or video camera to your computer. Then start up Animega Basic. The first thing we'll need to do before we start animating is to adjust our camera and the capture settings. Let's do this right now. You should be able to see your camera's point of view on the Animation View panel. Adjust the position and angle of your camera to your liking, so that all the objects and characters in your animated video can be seen clearly. If you have more than one camera connected to your computer, you'll need to first select which camera you'll like to use. Click on the small arrow next to the Camera Settings icon under the Animation View. The names of the cameras connected to your computer will be listed. Select the one you'd like to use. We can choose the capture resolution for our animation. The capture resolution determines the quality of your captured animation. For instance, if you plan to put your animated video on a VCD, it's best to capture your animation at no lower than 640 by 480 resolution. Only resolutions that are supported by your camera will be available. Next, we start to adjust the brightness and color to suit its environment. We go back to the icon with a picture of a gear. Click on it and a new window pops up. You can adjust the brightness, contrast or saturation by using the sliders or by typing. There are also advanced settings. However, do take note that this function is only applicable to Logitech cameras. The advanced settings has two sections, camera controls and zoom face tracking. Make sure you are on the camera controls. Aside from the brightness, contrast and saturation levels, you can also adjust the gamma levels. Unchecking the full auto mode option will allow you to perform other adjustments like white balance and the image mode. If the colors of your objects look very different on camera, you can correct it by adjusting the white balance. It is also recommended that the flickerless option should be checked at all times to avoid possible flickering of light in your finished animation. You can also control the zoom level of your camera. To zoom out, click on the icon with a minus sign and the plus sign for the zoom in. You can also refer to the percentage of your zoom in or out below the word zoom. Once you are satisfied with your camera settings adjustments, close the dialog boxes. Now you are ready to capture your animation.